Football season is back, and for this channel, that means one thing. Madden franchise is just about here. Madden 23 release date not too far off, just about a week to a week and a half away, depending, obviously, which copy of the game you get. But for here, it's time for Madden franchise, and that time, once again, where we got to figure out what team we're going to be rolling with this year for our Madden franchise. So I have right now... Five options. There's a few favorites, but I'm going to put a poll down below. I'm going to put all the teams that we would discuss here in this video and give you a chance to vote on it. At least maybe try to sway me a little bit. Like I said, there's a few teams in the favorite. I'm not going to really go which ones I'm going to be the favorite win. I've thought about all these teams, and uh, it's going to be great. I think this Madden 23 franchise is going to be very good. They've obviously overhauled the free agency. Hopefully they continue with updates. I mean, you got that hope every year as a, an NFL football fan. You got that hope every year as a Madden franchise person. So hopefully this year will be good as well. So let's get into the teams that right now I'm thinking about possibly, you know, doing this year for a franchise. Right now this is just Madden 22. But the first team we're going to go with is the Chicago Bears. Now, what makes the Bears interesting is they already have pretty much you would think their franchise quarterback in place, Justin Fields, only now going into his second year. So really, who knows what you're going to get? This team went 6-11 last year, finished third in the NFC North Division. This division is tough. You have the Packers, Aaron Rodgers. Yes, they lost Devontae Adams, but still a very talented team, a very good defense. You have the Minnesota Vikings, and I think with a new offensive philosophy, they have so many weapons that I think they're a playoff team. So I think this division is tough. You have the rivals, old school rivals, Packers, Bears, going against the Vikings, going against the Detroit Lions. This Bears team is very interesting. Could be on the rise. We'll see, but still definitely needs some work. And yeah, continue to work at that quarterback position. So this Bears team is very interesting. I mean, I, I love, obviously... Old school soldier field playing out. I know it's not that now anymore, but playing outdoors, cold weather, you know, trying to get for that playoff football. This Bears team is definitely an interesting one. And right now, right there as a possible for a franchise team. As for our next team on the list, and really, I think what we're going to do is really stick inside the division because I think the other team that I'm thinking of possibly going for a franchise this year is the Detroit Lions. Now, this team is a little bit more needs, obviously, rebuilt. Last year, they looked like they were going to be on their way to a almost non-win season. But they played tough the entire year. That week three game probably should have beat the Baltimore Ravens, but Justin Tucker hits a 66-yard field goal. It took them till the week after Thanksgiving to get their first victory of the season, beating the Minnesota Vikings, but they need still a lot of help. Jared Goff, he is not going to be the quarterback going forward. You can pretty much build this team how you feel fit. I think DeAndre Swift is a very good fit. Love him. What's And then receiving core, really, you can go you know different ways. They draft Jamison Williams out of Alabama, signed DJ Shark. You can go with that. Hawkinson, a very, very good tight end. You can kind of help with their offensive line. They have one of the better centers in football and Frank Ragnow. So some weapons here and there. They just need a quarterback. And then they're going to really help. They need really defensive side of the ball. The Lions still need work. Only, what, a three-win team last year. Draft Aiden Hutchinson. You know, hometown guy, went to Michigan, so that would be a very cool story. And I think with the Detroit Lions, if we go this route, which is definitely a possibility, I I'm really open to moving stadiums. I want an outdoor stadium. I want to play in that cold weather just like Chicago, those cold games when you come to November, December, into January. And obviously with this Detroit Lions franchise, a team that's never won a Super Bowl. So that is a big thing too. That's always one of those things you want to try to bring a Lombardi trophy to a team that has never had it. So the Detroit Lions, I would say, one of the top teams as well right now that we possibly could go with, another team that we can really kind of just build how we want to and go in a direction we want. Let's go on to the next team, third team. We're going to stick in the NFC. And that team is going to be the Seattle Seahawks, a team that has always been 
for years, a perennial playoff team. Super Bowl favored a lot of times. Russell Wilson, a quarterback. You had the Legion of Boom. Obviously, that has gone away years, but now Russell Wilson, he is gone. Moved on to Denver, and they need a quarterback badly. Right now, I would say Geno Smith looks like the favorite to start. I know lots want Drew Locke to be the starter, but that's going to be a battle in camp. But really, if we choose the Seattle Seahawks team, that's going to be number one going into the offseason. We need a quarterback. I don't think we're going to, we would stick with either one of those because they just re-signed DK Metcalf to a nice deal, and he's going to be around. Tyler Lockett, a very good receiver. You have guys, you have weapons you can throw to. Same with Noah Fant. I think he's going to be absolutely fantastic. Very good receiving tight end. But this team needs work. And in this division, you have the defending Super Bowl champs. You got the Rams. And then you have the 49ers with Trey Lance. I mean, I think they're expecting great things from him. This is not an easy division. Arizona, Kyler Murray, tough, tough division. Not easy. Trying to rebuild. You have that home crowd. You have that fandom in Seattle, which is fantastic. And trying to bring this team back to promise. Bring this team back to a Super Bowl in a new era without Russell Wilson and company. So I think this is could be a very, very fun team to roll with this year. So Seattle is definitely a very good choice. It's tough. I would say a lot of these teams this year, there's, there's teams you can go in any direction. And really, once we get into this franchise, I would say that it's my team, right? It's it's my team. We're going to go with it. I'm not going to have any connections to a lot of players. I'm going to be able to go whatever wherever direction I want to. So... Just think of it that way. Let's go to team number four. Let's go to the AFC and let's go to the Houston Texans, a team that needs a lot of work, a lot of work. Is Davis Mills the quarterback going forward? You can give him a shot. He didn't do that bad last year. I mean, he has a, an opportunity. If we get into this franchise, probably not. This is one of those teams that I think will need a complete overhaul. John Mechie, they drafted Unfortunately, I do not think he will obviously be able to play this year. Hopefully, he is okay. That's a tough situation there. Um, but I think this team just needs an overhaul. There's no doubt about it. And I've said in the past, I, I'm, not, I'm, gonna, I'm going to admit, stadium slash uniform definitely plays a role in a team I choose. I mean, you're going to see that uniform all the time. And I believe the Texans have some of the worst uniforms, maybe the worst uniforms in the NFL. But they just came out with the red helmet. That helps out a little bit. That gives me something to work with. Their stadium, eh, it's okay. But I know it sounds crazy, but it definitely plays into, you know, what team I pick for sure. So that helps out their matter. And also, obviously, that their roster, it just needs a complete overhaul. And uh, the Texans... Definitely a chance to pick them as well. So let's go to another team. Let's go to team number five on this list right now. We're going to stick in this division, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, they're a little bit low on the list. They're kind of in the same vein as the Bears. you got Trevor Lawrence, number one overall pick, and they have some weapons. Is this team that far away? I'm not really sure if they are. I mean... It's still Jacksonville. Sometimes you have those franchises that are a little bit snake bit, and they've been to AFC Championship games before. Probably should have beat the Patriots years ago. A couple bad calls maybe didn't go their way. But right now in a position, I mean, they have some definitely talent. They just have to put it together. You know, what do you get from Trevor Lawrence? Sometimes you think you're going to get a bunch of it, you know, get amazing stuff from him. And sometimes he's hit or miss. He was only a rookie last year, but this is a big year for him. Trayvon Walker from Georgia, first overall pick again this year for the Jaguars. Looks like an absolute beast. So they have some talent. This team doesn't need a complete overhaul like the Texans, and they have some pieces around them. But still, trying to bring that Jaguars team back to the playoffs, bring them back to possibly an AFC Championship game with Trevor Lawrence, trying to get that number one pick overall pick to be that you know guy that takes you there is definitely a uh, interesting thing that possibly could be done. And our final team here, just throwing it in there, is the New Orleans Saints. Now, this is a team that's completely different from every other team. This is a team that has some expectations for this year. Alvin Kamara, will he play? I mean, I don't know. He might be suspended for possibly six-plus games. They still haven't come down with that, so that he could be gone. But you have Jameis Winston at the helm. 
You know, I take it over for the whole Drew Brees situation. He's gone, obviously. No more Drew Brees. You got Jameis Winston, your starter. Thomas, Jarvis Landry comes over. They draft Chris Olave, who I think is a fantastic receiver. So I think the Saints team is a team that has a chance to make the playoffs, has a chance to do some damage. And obviously, the last few years, I mean, they've had so... I can't think of a team that's had so much playoff, you know, being unlucky and just devastating losses in the past, what, 10 years. This team just unlucky in that sense. So this would be a more interesting one. Maybe try to win as quick as you can and maybe try to get to a Super Bowl with this Saints team. But you have a few year window and after that you might have to rebuild them. So that's really the wild card team the New Orleans Saints. But those are the teams I'm looking at right now. I'll put the poll down below. You give you give put a vote on there. Who would you want to see? Like I said, it'll help play into a team that I'm possibly picking. I do kind of have a favorite at the moment I think I'm going to go with, but if it just gets totally blown out of the water another team, it definitely might influence me into picking that team and hopefully we'll have another successful franchise season here on Madden. Always try to go as many seasons as they possibly can. Draft classes, I'm not sure if we'll go realistic or not. We might just stick with the custom draft classes for now. Um, that's probably what we're going to roll with. But, man, I can't wait. We're very close. It's almost here. And Madden Franchise will uh, hopefully be fantastic. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Vote down below. I will see you in the next one. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.